hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to create a mail march in MS Word 2010 type in Microsoft Word 2010 for this example I'm creating a new document to create a mail margin go to mailings tab select the start mail march and notice in the drop down there are different types of mail merge methods are there but I'm choosing the first one letters after choosing the letters in the document hello please attend seminar on 9th October 2017 thanking you Channel. Now I want to send this document to different persons. For that, I am creating the mail merging. Go to select recipients, click on it, type new list. And notice here the title, first name, last name. These are the default column names up to the email address. If you want, you can use these column names or we can customize our own columns but I'm choosing at this moment the customized columns and these are the standard field names if you don't require any field names in this list you can delete for example address line 2 that I want to delete delete and also we can change the field names also changing the address line 1 to rename to address only click OK suppose if you want to add a new field name you can add here but at this moment I'm leaving as it is I'm clicking OK for this I'm not giving any title the first name Peter some random text the last name Jack White And Sam some random text in the last name field just for this demo purpose I'm using the first name and last name only click OK now yes, now it will prompt to save the address list so I'm choosing desktop to save this document mail March the document name is save and after saving the document the next step is we need to add the field names which we have created in the table list for that insert field and notice here in the drop down these are the field names which we have saved but I have used only the first name and last name I'm choosing first name space the last name after adding the required field names on my document check the preview results how it looks and notice here the first name is Peter the last name is SDFS when you scroll down it only showing one person name only because it's in the preview results if you want to check the second person click this one third one Sam so in our table list we have only three person names only so after satisfied everything just click the finish and merge edit individual documents and choose the merge records how you want you want all records to merge or current record only or you can select the range at this moment I'm choosing all click OK once I click OK, the first person name, Hello Peter. And I scroll down, Hello Jack White. This is the second person. And here is the last one, Hello Sam. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video, and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.